hi everyone welcome or welcome back to another tutorial so like you've already seen from the title and thumbnail today i'm showing you guys how i made this beautiful cardigan um i did use this stitch for the second time it's super simple and straightforward so let's get right into the video so guys this is the back panel and this is the front panel i still need to do one of the front panels so i can obviously have two sides because we'll be needing two of these so the pattern is basically if you've seen the other tutorial for the sweater vest then this is going to be super easy for you to do i chained a total of let's see 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 i chained a total of 55 um remember the pattern is works in multiple of five so one of these is actually just 5 10 15 and so on so this is very stretchy and i was going for a fitted look like you've seen from the picture depending on where you're going for yours might be different but this is just a simple um long re repetition of row one and row two you don't have to do any increase or no decreasing so you're going to make a slip knot and insert your crochet hook into the slip knot and you, i am going to go ahead and chain a total of 80. So after chaining a total of 80, we are going to go ahead and chain an extra two. Like I mentioned, the pattern is worked in multi pattern is worked in multiple of five. So you want to make sure, depending on your measurements, you're gonna do multiple of five until you have your desired length. So your desired measurement is basically your bust measurement divided by two. So you're going to use that divided number, and then you're going to chain multiple of five until you have length so mine is a total of 22 inches so depending on how you want your your top to fit or your cardigan to fit and then you're going to go do that so i'm going to chain an extra two which is going to be um starting chain for this project so after chaining two you're going to go into the second chain with a single crochet right there and from here on, you're going to go ahead and chain seven. After chaining seven, you're going to skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And you're going to go into the fifth with a single crochet right into that space. From there on, you're going to go ahead and chain seven again. skip four chains and into the fifth you're going to go with a single crochet again chain seven skip four and into the fifth chain you're going to go with another single crochet and this is basically where you're going to repeat until you get to the very end of the row. So coming to the last set of chain 5 I have left, I'm going to chain my last set of 7. And I'm going to go right into that last chain with a single crochet to end of the row. Right there. From here on, we are going to chain five to get started with row two and turn and right into this first set of seven double crochets. Sorry, so right into this first set of chain seven, we are going to go into the fourth chain with four double crochets. So I'll just turn this to the side so you can actually count this easily. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and into the fourth, we are going to go with four double crochets all into that same space. Chain one, and you're going to go into the next chain seven space. You're going to go into the fourth, one, two, three, four, with four double crochets all into that same space.
chain one and into this next set you're going to go into the fourth with four double crochet And I'm going to repeat this until I get to the very end. So I'll see you guys at the end so we can end off the row together. So guys, to end off the row, we are going to go ahead and chain one. And then again, you're going to go into this last set of seven double crochets into the fourth with your four double crochets. After your four double crochets, we are not going to chain anything. You're just going to go ahead and yarn over three times. And into this last, remember we did a single crochet at the beginning of the previous row. We are going to go into that single crochet and yarn over and pull through. So now we have five loops. We are going to yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the third two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. So this is basically supposed to balance off what we did at the beginning of this row. So to get started with the next row, you're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And right into this first stitch, you're going to go with a single crochet. And from here, we are going to chain seven. We're going to skip the six, four double crochet. And into this space, we are going to go with a single crochet. Chain seven. Skip the four double crochets into your chain one space. You're going to go with single crochet, chain seven. Skip the four set of double crochets and into this, you're going to go with the single crochet. And this is what we are going to repeat until we get to the very end. And when you get to the end, you're going to go ahead and repeat row two. So you're basically going to repeat row one and two, which is basically three and four five and six until you get your desired length so this is what it should look like when you have your desired length i did a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i did a total of 24 rows which is basically with one and two repetition of what one and two for 24 rows and i went ahead and did a border with just single crochet around the borders just so this can be um Honestly, I just did it because I wanted to. There's no reason why you you should do that. Um, I just did it because I wanted to. So this is what mine looks like. The length is, let me see. The length is 14 inches. But this stretches again. So keep that in mind as well. But I think 21 inch, 21, 24 rows is the perfect rows. So the front panel you, we are going to be doing something a little bit different i did increase because obviously you know when you're making a cardigan or something that is a lace up or a tie up you want to make sure that the shoulders there's a room around this side so your neck can fit in which you guys will see along the way but what i did was i started with um i divided this amount into two so remember, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have a total of 11. I divided that by 2, which is a 5 and a half. So instead of going for 5 and a half, obviously, I said we need to leave like a room right here. So it's going to be around the neckline. So there's going to be a room, which you guys will see later on. What I did was I did 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of 5 and a half. So this one two three is going to be the room and then the remaining four is going to be for the opposite panel i hope you guys understand uh let me show you guys what i mean right here so right here we have the front panel which is basically one two three four like i mentioned earlier so we started from here and then we went ahead and did five rows and then from the five rows i did increase until i actually have a five and a half so at the end of the day you're going to increase again so you can have that on the bottom part of the top and then the upper part is just going to be like that because you need that room from the back panel to be able to fit around your neck 
hope you guys understand i'm going to show you guys how to get the stitch done super super easy and i love this red it makes so much sense so we are going to start working on the front panel now and for that we are going to again like i showed you guys i did a total of 20 i changed a total of 20 plus 2 which is basically 22 so right here i'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot and i'm just going to go ahead and chain a total of 20 So I'm going to chain an extra two and after chain an extra two, I'm going to go into the second chain with a single crochet. And from here on, I'm going to chain seven. And I'm going to skip four chains, one, two, three, four. And into the fifth, I'm, fifth, I'm going to go with a single crochet. From here on, I'm going to go ahead and chain seven again. Skip four double crochets and into the fifth with a single crochet. Chain seven. Skip four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, I'm going to go with a single crochet. Chain seven. And I'm going to go into this last chain with a double crochet, a single crochet again. And this is basically what row one is like. So this is basically what you're going to do the same way you did the other pattern, but I'm going to do this for five rows. Again, you're just going to divide this amount of, um, I don't know what we're going to call these because they are four double crochets together. I don't know what they're called, but you're going to divide these amount into two and you're going to um, just honestly there's really no way i can explain this you just want to make sure you leave a room i did leave these three so you can also fold this panel your back panel into two and then from here you can just check how wide you want that neckline to be i think this is even not that wide but because it's going to be like a, a cardigan kind of thing this is fine it's not a neckline or anything like that so this is fine so you can also leave four if you're making a size bigger then i suggest you leave four instead of three if you're making a size smaller three is fine i think three is a perfect number but it depends on the amount you actually do have i ended up with an uneven number which is 11 an uneven number i want to make sure the opposite the two front panels actually um on an even number so the remaining three is going to be inside so again this depends on how many you have here you're just going to basically you can also put this up across your body and your neck just to see if this room is enough honestly guys i don't know how i can explain this to you maybe when i finish making this i can explain this better so i'm going to keep going and if there's any changes i'll definitely just write them down or just do a voice over so you guys can understand um everything better so i'm going to do the same thing for this panel so i'm going to do this but i did a total of five rows because remember i did a total of 24 rows for the actual um, panel so you remember i did a total of 24 rows for the panel so i'm going to do um five rows with no increasing which is basically 10 rows when you count row one and two so i'm going to do 10 rows with no increasing and then i'm going to come back and show you guys how we are going to increase to get this like this basically just to increase so we can balance this off to the other panel to the back panel so right here i have my five rows complete we are going to start increasing on one side and the other side is going to be without increasing because this is going to be um 
the front side and while this is going to be the back so what we're going to do for you we're going to just go ahead and after your last row you're going to chain one as usual and right into this first stitch you go with a single crochet and chain seven so usually we would go into this next chain one space with the single crochet but we are going to go right into the same space with a single crochet because like i said we are increasing so that is going to be our first increase so from here we are going to chain seven and into this next we are going to go with a single crochet and just basically repeat until we get to the end Right there so for me you're going to chain one chain five sorry and into this set of the seven double crochet you're going to go into the fourth with four double crochet just the same way we would do actually work the pattern so i'm going to get that done and when i get to the edge we are going to finish off the row so coming at the end we are going to end off the row so after my four double crochet right there i'm going to chain one because again i have another chain seven space right here so i'm going to go ahead and look for the fourth chain which is a bit difficult to look for so just take your time and count for me one two three four and i'm going to go into this fourth with four double crochets And again, whenever we want to end of the row, we are going to go ahead and yarn over three times. And you're going to go ahead and just look for the chain, single crochet that you made from the previous row. So after my chain four, I'm going to count one, two, three, because remember I chained seven. So I know this is going to be the single crochet and then I'm going to go with just my yarn over, yarn over, and yarn over until I get to the end, until I have just one more loop. So you can already see how this is increasing as we go. We are going to increase for one more row, one more row because remember we did have 11 and then we have one, two, three, four at the beginning. We increased one, so we are going to increase another one. Usually we would actually go for half, but because there is no way to make an half stitch, we are going to just increase two times instead of just one and a half because there is no one and a half. There is one and two. So for the next row, we are going to go ahead and Next row, we are not going to increase. We are going to go ahead and continue the pattern for two more rows before we increase for the last stitch. So right here, you can see that's what I did for this other panel. So I did increase right here, and then I did one more row with no increase, and then I increased again and did the remaining rows without increasing right here. So I'm going to get that done. So after your first increase you're just going to go ahead and do a usual row with no increase which is chain one and turn into this first stitch you're going to go with a single crochet chain seven and you're not going to go into that same space because we're not increasing for this row you're going to go right into this next with a single crochet and this is what you're going to repeat until you get to the very end and i'll see you guys when i have the when i come back and then we're going to start increasing for the second time so right here i just finished my seventh um row 14 basically with no increase now we are going to increase again for row 15 and we are going to go ahead and repeat the rest of the row with no increase and so we're going to repeat for row 15 and then we are going to continue with no increasing for the rest of the row so just the same way we increased, we are going to increase again, which is chain one and turn. And right into this first space, you're going to go with a single crochet and you're going to chain seven. And usually we would go in here with a single crochet, but we are going to go right into that same space with a single crochet. 
right there so i'm not a second increase so you're going to chain seven now and you're just going to repeat until you get to the very end and you're basically going to come back so i'm going to go to this edge come back to this edge and then i'll show you guys how we're going to end off the row again with the second increase so again coming to the edge we are going to go into the seven set of chain with a single seven double crochet so you're going to chain one and we are going to go into the fourth with four double crochets sorry so one two three four into this fourth i'm going to go with you have to take your time and go into that stitch so i'm going to go right in here with four double crochets And to end of the row, we are going to go ahead and yarn over three times. And we are going to go into the single crochet from the previous row, which is all the way down here. Because this again is just part of the chain seven space. So we are going to go into that with the last stitch to end of the row. And again, we created another increase right there. So now for me on, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a total of 16 rows. I'm going to repeat this until I have a total of 24. And then I'll come back and show you guys how we can attach the two front panels to the back panel. But if you haven't done yours, then I'll suggest you go and get your two, or the opposite side of the front panel complete. And I'll see you guys later. So right here, I have the panel complete. I did a total of 24 rows. So I'm going to go all around with single crochets. So I'm going to go all around with single crochets in every space available just to knit off the areas because this side kind of looks a bit untidy. So I'm just going to single crochet around like I did here just to tidy around the, the panel. So let's begin. I'm just going to chain one and for me, I'm going to go into every available space. You want to make sure you're not doing too much because you don't want to widen the panel. You just want to straighten off and knitting off the, the sides and every side of the panel. So I'm just going to check around and see where I can actually insert one single crochet into every available space around. There's really no way I can explain this. You just want to make sure you go into every space with one single crochet around so guys now we are going to attach all the panels together so we have the two fronts and the two one back so you're going to do the same thing for the opposite end and then you're going to go ahead and do the single crochet around is definitely optional you don't have to do this this is just what i wanted to do because i feel like it will just add um make the panels more neater and easier for me to single crochet together so i'm going to just align the front panel to the back panel and i'm going to go ahead and attach the two together like you see me doing let me cut this up So now we are going to attach the front and the back panels together so you're going to go ahead and just align this make sure everything is straight because we are going to go ahead and attach the two shoulders together so this you're going to attach to this and you're going to put this on and decide how wide you want the armpit hole to be honestly i already know how wide mine is going to be i think i'm just going to stop right here and then i'll just single crochet the rest all the way to the edge and of course i'll do the same thing on the opposite side so i'm going to get mine done and then i'll start working on the sleeve together so guys right here i already have one sleeve complete and of course i just went in with the same pattern and i used to um 
the four millimeter for the sleeve as well so i'm gonna show you guys how you can get that done on the opposite side so at this point it's almost complete i'm loving the way it's it's actually coming out so let's get started with the next sleeve so right here i'm just going to grab my yarn and i'm going to go into this seam right under the armpit area with my yarn and i'm just going to attach it right there and make a secure knot so basically because we already went around the panels with single crochet this is going to be super easy we do not have to go again with single crochets so from here on i'm just going to go ahead and chain one and i'm going to go right into that same space with a single crochet from here on i'm going to chain seven and i'm going to skip four one two three four and into the fifth i'm going to go with a single crochet chain seven I'm going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, I'm going to go with a single crochet. Chain seven. Skip four and into the fifth with a single crochet. And I'm basically going to repeat that until I get to the very beginning and I'll see you guys at the beginning. So coming right at the beginning, I have uh, my last chain seven space and i have one two three four instead of five so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into this chain um single crochet space so basically depending on how much you actually have if you have more than five then i'll suggest you go into that fifth um but if you don't have more than five that's perfect so that's fine i'm just going to go into the single four single crochet i made with a slip stitch to end of the row so this is going to be a bit different from the other panel because we are obviously working this in a in a round instead of working each panel separately so we are going to end and start the row in a little in a different way so remember that's row one and the pattern is basically a repetition of row one and row two so for row two what i did was i'm going to chain five like would actually do for the other panel for the panels after chaining five, I'm going to go into this chain four space, chain seven space into the fourth with my four double crochet, just the same thing. But we are just going to end off the row a little bit different from what we would do if we were working um, on panels instead of rounds. And for me, I'm going to chain one and into this next, I'm going to go with four double crochet into the fourth chain and that is what i'm going to repeat until i get to the very beginning so i'm going to get mine done all around and then i'll see you guys at the very beginning again so coming to the end of the row we are going to end um this a little bit different from what we would do when we are working on panels so right now i just did my last double for the cushion into that chain four space and that is basically my last chain seven this is base. this is the chain five we did at the beginning so you want to be able to differentiate that you want to make sure you know that at row four at row two you have seven double crochets and the chain five so don't mistake the chain five for seven double crochets keep that in mind so after your last four double crochets into that fourth chain you're going to end of the row and to end of the row you're going to go into this chain five space right into the fifth the last chain you're going to go ahead and slip stitch to end of this and right here you have this long chain five space which is fine so that is what basically this pattern is about we are going to repeat row one and row two and again for row one which is row three in this case you're going to chain one and right into that same space you're going to go with a single crochet chain seven and we are going to go into this space right here chain one space with a single crochet chain seven And into this chain one with a single crochet and this is what we are going to repeat row two row three row one and row two row one and two until you have your desired length and i'm going to get mine done 
so this is what it's going to look like when we end off the row and that's the reason why i actually recommend you actually start attaching yarn at the armpit hole because this line is basically going to be under the armpit hole which just makes sense instead of it being here or being on any other side of the sleeve so i'm going to get my sleeve complete and then i'll come back and show you guys what the final final finishing is going to be because i think i'm going to add a chain here just so we can actually make a, a bow a simple bow or something just some little finishing a little touch into this to the cardigan so i'm gonna get mine done and then i'll see you guys in a bit so right here i have the other side of the sleeve complete i have my opposite sleeve complete and we are almost done and this is how it looks so far i did a total of 17 which is 17 times two because remember it's worked in multiple of two it's worked in two different panels so 17 i did a total of 34 rows and this is how it looks so what i thought about doing was just to attach a yarn or string around this area where we actually stopped decreasing so we can actually tie it together in case you want to tie your cardigan together at one point because i'm not going to add no button or whatever just to make a little bow but i was thinking where exactly am i going to attach this um let's see so this is where we did our first decrease increase sorry so we did our first increase right there and then this is where we did a second this is where we did a second increase increase Mm, okay i'm basically going to do mine where we did a second increase right here that is where i'm going to do my own so i'm just going to attach my yarn what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a chain instead of like a a chain and go, come back with a double crochet of double crochet single crochet because that's what i usually do when i want to make a string so what i do is i just like leave a long string outside and i'm just going to double the string and make a, a long chain so you can make this as long as you want or even as short as you want so right here i'm going to grab a double string and i'm going to grab this with my yarn and just make a double chain which is going to be thick enough for me to tie around i don't have to go back with double crochet or half double crochet into the chain because i just don't don't like to do that i prefer to do a double string like this So that's what I'm going to do. And this can be as long or as short as you want it to be. You don't have to go for any desired length. Any length in particular. You can just go for your desired length. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a long chain that I can just tie around in case I do want to tie it at the end. So coming to the end of the chain, I'm just going to seal this with a double knot of course this is also something you can just tie with a double knot and you're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side honestly you have to just decide you can also put your cardigan on and decide where you want this tie up to be i wanted to put my right bill right on the second decrease because i think it will just look nice because in my remember that the the neckline we went for is a v neckline so if we did go in for a square then obviously that's different so i'm going to go right into where i did my the increase on the opposite opposite side and i'm going to go ahead and repeat the chain which is just a long chain and i'm going to sew in all my loose ends because i still have them around and that is basically it for this cardigan i have an upcoming tutorial coming up for a dress and for a top so look forward to that and i guess i'll see you guys in another video